Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Salome, and what I'd like to do today is I'd like to talk to you about what is leaky gut and what you can do to help heal your leaky gut. First of all, let's talk about what leaky gut is. Leaky gut is, in the normal intestines, we have normal tight junctions. So basically, these intestinal cells are closed, and they don't really open for much. If they open, they open up for like a millisecond. When in a leaky gut, this is open. This allows for bad bacteria, toxins, and undigested food particles to enter the bloodstream, causing lots of inflammation, and the immune system reacting to this, causing a whole cascade and domino effect of inflammatory reactions. This causes bloating, this causes nausea, it causes uh, brain fog, fatigue, and even it can lead to other conditions like autoimmune conditions. So leaky gut is, this is pretty much what happens in a nutshell. Once we break these tight junctions, and then we have other different types of junctions and there's other different types of, types of chemicals that are involved with leaky gut. But for the most part, the main gist of this is I want you to know what happens with leaky gut and then what we can do to help avoid this altogether. And if we have it, what we can do to actually heal it. First, I want to talk about the symptoms, the common symptoms, which for the most part, we discussed a lot of them, but fatigue, food allergies, we discussed these, diarrhea, skin conditions. So if you have skin conditions and you're going to your dermatologist, for an example, and you don't know why these things continue to come awry and you keep having these type of issues, chances are that you want to look at your immune system and really our gut is 60-70% of our immune system. So we want to really take care of our gut and the health of our gut. So what I want to do today is I want to talk to you about what you can do again to heal it. So that's the exciting part. And we're going to talk about the 5R program. So 5Rs. We've got remove, replace, re-inoculate, repair, and then rebalance or rest. So that is, or relaxation. So that's what we want to do. So let's talk about the first R. So the first R is remove. What are we talking about when we talk about remove? Remove things that are offending the body, toxins, infections, things that cause harm and injury and inflammation that cause long-term chronic inflammation. We're not talking about acute inflammation. Acute inflammation is normal. It's the chronic inflammation that causes issues. So what do we want to do is we want to remove these things out of the body. So what be it infections, bacteria, toxins, so detoxification, uh, antimicrobial support for infections. These things that we want to do to help remove this part so we can help support the intestinal walls and intestinal lining. The next is replace. So what do we replace with? We want to replace the body with good nutrients, good things that are healthy and to support intestinal lining. And then we want to also support it with digestive enzymes so we can replace the body, support the digestive system with good enzymes to help digest those unwanted food particles. So the third is we re-inoculate. And what does re-inoculate mean? We want to give the body good bacteria. So we have normally in our intestines, we have good bacteria and we have bad bacteria. So what we want to do is we want to keep the good higher than the bad. So in a lot of people with leaky gut, maybe they had lots of intestinal issues before and they've taken, they've gone to their doctor and they've given them antibiotics and they're continuing to experience inflammation and gastrointestinal issues, and they keep taking more and more antibiotics. Well, that can deplete the body of that good bacteria. So what we want to do is we want to re-inoculate or provide good bacteria to help replenish the proper environment, microbial environment, so that keeps inflammation steady, keeps inflammation down low, so that it's not going out of and spiraling out of control. Because some inflammation is good. We want some inflammation. Because inflammation, it helps repair tissue, it helps bring blood flow, it helps support our cells, it helps bring things. But when we have chronic inflammation and it continues to pursue and continue to go on and on, this is when we have destruction. And destruction is not good. It's not constructive. So it's the, it's the antithesis of construction. So that's where we want to re-inoculate with good bacteria. And of course, we want to seal the walls. We want to seal those tight cell junctions. We want to get that barrier closed. And how do we do that? We have different things that we can do to repair. And I discussed that in other videos. 
like for instance, the top 10 best supplements or top 10 supplements for leaky gut syndrome, I go in individual in each different diff different supplements that you can take that can help repair. But we wanna repair the intestinal walls, but I will give you a couple that I really like. I like L-glutamine, I like DGL, and I like butric acid, I like aloe vera. These things are very effective to help repair intestinal lining and slippery elm. These are, those probably four are my favorite ones to help with intestinal lining and repair. So that can be very essential. And then lastly, but not least, is the fifth one, and that is balance. So paying attention to lifestyle, sleep, good exercise and rest and relaxation. Because if our bodies are in constant stress, that can definitely open up those intestinal walls and cause the leaky gut. So we wanna make sure that if we do all four, that's good, but if we continue, if we have one that's out of balance, that can cause the, the barriers back to reopen. So we wanna close that barrier and we don't want things to be open. So we wanna hit all those five points so that we can really start recovering and strengthening our intestines, strengthening our gut, and getting our body much, much healthier in general. Therefore, our immune system is gonna be better, we're gonna feel better, our healthy gut is a healthy mind, a healthy brain, a healthy everything. We want you to be functioning at your best. So I really hope that you like this video. If you have any suggested topics that you would like, please leave them, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And hit that like button and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell notification, and we'll let you notify you when we have more videos that are coming up. Again, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Dr. Tony Salme, and I want to wish you a great day.